Hello everyone, in this uh, video I will present you DPC and Pisar Fundamentals. A very interesting topic that is uh, direct co connected with system latency, the Windows latency, okay. Let's start with processor usage management. In Windows we have three fundamentals that uh, Windows is using to manage processor usage, CPU usage. The first is processes, the second is threads, and the third is deferred procedure calls and interrupt service routines, the topic that we will cover today. As you see in the diagram, we have processes, threads, and DPC. We have process threads, DPC, and ISR, and all these three fundamentals managing CPU usage. Let's see the definition of processes and threads. The process is an independent program on the computer. Each process has its own protected memory space and executes in its own processor. Virtual processor, okay. Threads, a smaller part of a process. In particular, a thread is inside in a process, okay. As we see an example on the right side, we have our point executable, a, a process. And inside this process, we have threads, the threads tab, okay. And basically, it's this exactly thing, a smaller part of process. We can check this, uh, this tab in Process Explorer or Process Hacker, okay different task managers, okay, with more uh, details. Um, share the same memory space with process and executes concurrently with the process, okay. So we have a process in the middle and inside of a process we have many threads, okay. Not only one, we, have, we can have 10 threads, 20 threads, it depends on program, okay. Definition of, pro of DPC. What is DPC? The third procedure call or DPC is a method in Windows that allows high priority tasks to be executed quickly while postponing lower priority tasks for later execution. It is used by device drivers and other low level programs. When a high priority task is executed, lower priority tasks are deferred and placed in a queue for later execution. This improves the system responsiveness, especially in real time processing scenarios. Let's see, let's understand better what we say, what I read to you now. Let's see this photo. We have DPC objects, okay, and each DPC object has different uh, priority. Basically, DPC objects are tasks, okay. So, the first DPC object has high priority, the second normal priority, and the third uh, low priority. What now gonna do the DPC? DPC will execute uh, the, the task with the highest priority and at the same time, it will move the prior the tasks with lower priority in a queue to execute them later. Okay, that's the concept of DPC. He will execute the the tasks with high the highest priority and he moving to the queue the task with lower priority. Also, now you will ask me if, for example, I have if, for example, in this case we have only high priority tasks. How the procedure call how DPC will execute? Uh, the tasks it's a good question and the answer is very simple windows will decide uh, what the which uh, task will run will execute first okay and it depends the process it depends the task it depends the algorithm behind from behind okay and it depends from windows okay definition of isr what is isr an interrupt service routine or ISR is a special block of code associated with specific events like hardware interrupts or software exceptions. It's used to handle critical tasks promptly, like managing device drivers or enabling mode transitions. ISRs ensure the system can respond effectively to external events and provide essential services to running the program. Let's see again the, the diagram to understand better uh, the definition of ISR. We have task level, all better the hard, a hardware interrupt, okay, many hardware interrupts, and here we have the ISR. Um, hardware interrupt will send the first critical task. ISR will execute the critical task, and uh, after that he will take the, the next critical task. With the same way, if we have a hardware interrupt, okay, ISR will execute the task with the highest priority, okay? If task 1 have, has the highest priority, we'll execute it first from ISR, okay? It's it's similar with uh, DPC, but ISR has uh, more direct 
corresponding okay in a, in a task in a call in a hardware interrupt dpc in simpler terms the, the definition is it is scheduled to be executed later for priority and efficiency and the function completes tasks that cannot be executed immediately by the processor or more simple complete tasks that cannot be executed immediately by the isr okay so every task that isr can't execute immediately uh, dpc will execute them later and here we have the dpc and around we have uh, tasks okay with different priorities dpc will execute first the high priority task after that the normal priority task and lastly low priority task okay isr in simple terms the definition is executed immediately when an interrupt is triggered for speed and data protection and function responds to important interrupts for hardware devices okay so we have an important interrupt a high priority task isr will execute after that we have a, high, a normal priority task isr will execute and it's the same procedure uh, is a, a circle okay example about tpc Let's imagine that we play a racing game. DPC ensures smooth uh, car movement and responsive controls. Critical tasks like updating the car's position are prioritized. Okay. While non-essential tasks like visual effects are deferred. Okay. So, uh, DPC will focus in to update the car position. Okay. And we he will delay the task to uh, update the visual effects. Okay. This optimization allowed for an enjoyable and immersive gaming experience. So let's see the diagram to understand better the, this example. We have the DPC. It will execute the critical task. In that case, it's updating uh, car position. After that, he, he, after that, the critical task is ready and update. And DPC will execute the deferred tasks. And that, on that case, are the visual effects. And he, after that, uh, deferred. Uh, the deferred task, the visual effects are uh, are ready, okay. And again, DPC will check. He will update the task that is prioritized, okay. And he will continue the deferred tasks, okay. That's uh, the concept uh, in every situation. Let's see now an example about ISR. Let's imagine that we play an action game. <laughs> Let's imagine that you play Valorant, and the player controls a hero and faces enemy. Faces enemies. The ISR is used to handle interrupt events, such as when the player presses the button to shoot, the ISR responds immediately and executes the corresponding action, like firing a projectile. This ensures the hero reacts quickly to the player commands, keeping the game enjoyable and engaging. Let's see the diagram again. User will press the button to shoot. This call, this, uh, this call will send in uh, Application. application will send in operating system and operating system will send the hardware. After that, the hardware will respond to this call. It will send the response to operating system. The operating system will move this response to application. And finally, this, uh, this, uh, after that, user, he will see uh, the animation of shooting. Okay. So this is a critical task that ISR must execute. Okay. Now, let's see the differences between uh, DPC and ISR. The first uh, difference is the ISR responds immediately to issues, while the DPC waits to execute it later. To execute later, sorry. And the second difference is the ISR is used for critical tasks, while the DPC is used for delayed tasks. So, we have a hardware interrupt. The critical tasks will uh, execute from ISR, and all delayed tasks will execute later from uh, DPC, okay. So the hash priority has uh, ISR, okay, and ISR will execute all critical tasks, and second priority has DPC, and he will execute all the late tasks that ISR cannot uh, run immediately, okay. Let's see now tools to analyze DPC and ISR. The first and the most famous tool, and also a very simple tool, is latency monitor. Detect and fix system delays, DDC and ISR, and to ensure smooth operation and prevent audio video interruptions. Okay, this tool is very simple. Uh, can give you basic uh, information about DPC and ISR, and in general the system latency. So 
I recommend you to use it. If you are professional or, or you want to have more details and to go in depth in latency part and see, to see uh, what is happening to your uh, system, you can use Windows Performance Analyzer, a certified uh, uh, tool that is developed from Microsoft. Analyzes system performance and identifies DPC ISR issues and offers graphical insights for optimization and issue resolution. Improves system responsiveness. And that's it. Okay. Um, we have a, here the photos. I know it's complicated. It's not so complicated, but if you see this for first time, it's it is okay. We have graphs. We have main information. It's much detail. It, it's much more detailed than latency monitor. Okay. Uh, IT professionals from Microsoft, uh, they using uh, this tool. Okay, I will I will make a video about this very soon. Okay, I'm still learning this. Uh, I need to be honest, guys. I'm still learning this uh, tool. Okay, so so yes. Uh, before we close, I want to recommend you some books that you can read. Okay, the first is Windows Internals. Uh, this book is. Uh, by Microsoft uh, employees okay so it's certified from Microsoft okay and the second is troubleshooting with the Windows system internals tools again is from Microsoft okay both uh, books are very uh, are very nice uh, you can find them crack perhaps some books are legal okay um, of course it's risky to find them to go inside to find these books but Unfortunately, yes, it's not for free to get these books, but uh, it's worth to spend some money if you want to follow this uh, this path, become IT professional or to learn more about these uh, things, to see Windows Insights and to learn how to troubleshoot uh, more with an advanced way. Okay. Anyways, guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm so happy that I made this video. It, uh, it was uh, the best video for me. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned what is DPC and ISR. Uh, I will continue this topic in the next week. I hope to have the, the PowerPoint ready in the next week. And we will cover more details about DPC and ISR. We will see what is happening between DPC and ISR inside, more inside, with more details in depth. You will understand very soon what I mean. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're so